Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. I hope y'all are having an awesome day. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I am super excited and nervous all at the same time because we are trying out lashes for the very first time, but I figure glue would probably not be the best way to go. So we are trying out some magnetic ones. Now I did show you guys this in my collective haul, so we're gonna go through it really quickly. I'll link that collective haul down below in case you wanna see it. But I am so excited to try these out, guys. So just so you guys know, I saw this on my girl Tears Corners channel. And you guys have to check her out. I'm gonna put her channel on this side and link her down below. She tried these out on her channel. She does get ready with me. She does unboxings. She does hauls. She does Costco hauls. Um, so definitely check her out. She is absolutely amazing, super sweet. And when I saw these, I had been looking for a pair, but I was really nervous because I didn't want anything that was gonna pull out my lashes. I was super duper scared. But she said these worked really well. Now she had issues with the shipping. I just wanna tell you guys to be transparent in case you run into this. Hers took about two months to get there. Mine did not, mine took like a week. Um, I don't even think it took two weeks. I think it was closer to a week. So I was super excited about that because she did mention that and she did warn me about that. So I do wanna warn you guys just in case that happens to you guys, but that was not my experience. I got it really quickly. So maybe they fixed the shipping issue. So before I tell you guys the details about this, make sure you guys check out my girl Tara's Corner after this video. Like I said, she will be linked below. But I do wanna tell you guys what I am currently wearing on my face because I did not record this look. I figured I'd do a pretty simple look today so you guys could just see and we can focus on these lashes. So I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what I am currently wearing on my face is right here, but for my lips, I am wearing this Dose of Colors Lippy, and the color is Date Night, and that is what I am wearing. I got this in one of my boxes. I really love the formula. It lasts really long. This is really awesome and great for red. It's matte, so it'll last. It won't transfer. It doesn't make you look crazy when it starts getting all over your mouth. Love this thing, especially when I want to do a red. Now, it can get a little drying, but love it. Now, on my eyes, I am wearing this palette here. And yes, guys, it is Viseart. This is the actual palette. This is the packaging. And this is the Golden Hour. It has a nine shades, and this is professional eyeshadow palette is what they say. Now, Ipsy had this as an add-on for $19.50. And if you guys know Viseart, it is super expensive, so I had to try it. But this is it here. It has this huge mirror, and those are the colors. Now, I wish they would have put the names on the actual palette. They did not. It is on this piece of plastic. Let me just take it off so you guys can see it. See, it's just this piece of plastic, and it has the names on here. So those are the shadows. But I use a little bit of this here in the inner corner. This one I use in the inner top portion. Then I went in with this one in the middle. Then I went in with this one on the end, and this was also my transition color. And then I just added a little bit of this one here to deepen out that outer V. So that is all I did. It was just these five shades. So this row and this row. That was all I used today. Again, wanted to keep it simple so we could focus more on the eyelashes. So I am so excited. But I did decide to jazz it up a little bit since it was a simple look with this here. I have showed you guys this in another video. This is the Kusa shimmer liquid last liner and i use this color here and let me get a close-up so you guys can see it so you see the glitter right there this is what i use today it is really pretty i feel like it makes a look pop i absolutely love it it's so easy to apply you just use the tip let me just show you so it comes out like that which is a little on the thicker side but it comes out really pretty if you just use the tip and you go lightly on it. Let me, um, you can build them up. So great, really love this. This 10 piece set was like $15 on Amazon. Like I told you guys, I am now an Amazon affiliate. So I do have it linked down below if you guys wanna check it out. I do make a little bit that I can put back into the channel. So if you don't want to, feel free not to use it, but I will link it down below. I really do love these. And for $15, you really can't beat the price for 10 of these glitters with all of these colors, you can find one to go with whatever eye look you do. So it is absolutely awesome. I love these things. So and now that we have went through that, we are gonna get into this. Now, the regular price for this is a lot. Guys, this is not sponsored. I know I always forget to put that in my videos. I definitely tell you when something was sent to me for free. If I don't mention that, guys, and I know I should say it in every video, so I'm so sorry, but this is not sponsored. 
They did not send this to me. I paid my own money for this, but I have been wanting to try lashes, so I figured I'd give the magnetic ones a try, and my girl Tara's Corner gave me that little nudge because she said it was very easy to apply, so I am so excited. I will link, like I said, her video down below. You gotta check her out. She's amazing. The but regular price for this is $79.99. Now they currently have it on sale for $54. So I believe Kourtney Kardashian is actually like affiliated with them. I don't know the right words to say, but she has a coupon code. So if you use the code Kourtney, you can get 25% off. Now I will tell you there is some weirdness going on with their website because when I ordered it, it was $54 on sale. I used the Courtney code and it was $38 and change. Plus there was, I guess, some kind of conversion. So it was like $39 I paid all together now when i went just two days ago to check for you guys it was like 42 dollars so there is a bit of a discrepancy there so i did want to be transparent let you guys know that again i don't make anything off this if you try these i just figured i would give these a try i have heard about their ardell ones i have not tried them and maybe i will but i figured you know what let me go ahead and give these a try i'm not too sure how many uses you can use now like i said this is from france so the instructions are not very good and i do hate that about these but it seems like you just apply the magnetic liner and put the lashes on. So we're just going to show you guys what's in here because I did unbox it in my other video, but I'm going to show you guys really quickly since this is a separate video. So once you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has this beauty on here. I did also want to mention it does have the ingredients and I did notice that dimethicone is on here. So it does have silicone. So if you don't like to use silicone, then you don't want to use this. But they have all the instructions and it's in different languages. None are in English, which again, that's my one qualm about them they should put at least one in english since they do ship to the u.s but that's neither here nor there again it seems like it's pretty self-explanatory so we are going to try it out and then this is what it looks like and this is the applicator it says magnetic sl and it does have a little i guess closure here a little plastic piece to keep it closed i don't know if i'm going to use this i'm going to actually attempt to do it with my fingers you guys know i like to apply my eyeshadow with my fingers so i am going to try to apply the lashes with my fingers too so we'll see but we'll have this as backup in case we need it then we have the magnetic liner and this is it here and that seems pretty small so i don't know how many uses we can get from this but we're going to give it a try either way. And then we have the lashes, which is the start of the show. And I love the cute little compact. And once you open it up, it does have a little mirror. And those are the lashes. So that is so cute. I am so excited. I got the Russian light. Now, my girl Tara's Corners, she got the natural. And she said they were a little bit natural. She kind of said you might want to get them a little bit different or if you want them to be a little bit more outstanding you might want to choose a different one and not the natural one so i got the russian light they did have a russian intense i thought that might have been too much for me so we are gonna try these i'm so excited and like i said it does have the mirror with a little bit of plastic and we're gonna take that off because i'm gonna attempt to use this mirror to try to put these on so we will see but i'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in a little closer and take this off and then we are going to try to apply these lashes together okay guys so as you can see i did bring you guys in a little closer and i'm gonna get all the way up in there and we're gonna try to apply this liner and then put on the lashes i am gonna start with my right eye i don't think i'm gonna wing it out because i'm a little scared and i don't know how that's gonna come out but that is a lot of product and i do see that that was one thing people said so i'm gonna just try to wipe it off so there's not so much so i'm trying to get as close to my lash line as possible Okay, so that's one eye done. That doesn't look too bad. You guys let me know what you think. I actually found this a little easy to use. It is a little clumpy, so you gotta be careful. It is not bleeding into my lines and wrinkles on my eyes, so that is also awesome. So now I'm gonna do this one because you're supposed to let it dry. So I'm gonna go in and do this one, and I'm gonna dip back into the, I'm gonna dip back in, and then I'm, I'm gonna do this one while this one is drying, because I think you're supposed to let it fully dry. By the way, I have nothing at all on my lashes on the top. I do have mascara on the bottom, but nothing on the top because I didn't know if you were supposed to and I didn't want it to pull out my lashes, so I figured I wouldn't. So once again, you put it in, you get a whole bunch of products, so definitely wipe it off. So far, it's not irritating my eyes. It does feel 
a little tad bit itchy, but I have super sensitive eyes. So, so far so good, I'm not crying. So I'm gonna do the other one. You know, I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side too, just to make sure I put enough here so the lash will stick. So, just in case, okay. So, you know, I'm gonna put a little bit more here. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. I don't know how straight my line is, but you guys let me know. This one looks like it needs a little bit more there, but we're gonna leave it. So that was not too bad to apply. I do wish the applicator was a little bit thinner so you can get a more precise line, but we're just gonna go with it. Hopefully these apply really easy. So I am going to, here's the lashes. I'm gonna take it off of the packaging. Oh, and it has actual magnets. I don't know if you can see that, but there's actually, see, you kinda can, hold on. I don't know which eye is which. All right, I'm gonna go with, this one is supposed to be for this eye because those look a little bit shorter on the inside. So yeah. So let's see if you can see it. Okay, this is the magnets. Do you see that? There is the magnets right on here. So I think that's good enough. I'm gonna fan just a little. We're not speeding this up because we're gonna see what really happens. I'm gonna sit, like I said, try with my fingers first and then we're gonna go from there. And I'm gonna try to use a camera for that one. So let's see. Okay, oh gosh, this is hard. So let me try to put the middle, let's see. Whoa. Okay, hold on. All right, so I do think I'm gonna need the applicator and I'm gonna so try not to poke my eye out. But let's see if we could do this. Okay, wait, where am I? Hold on. You know what, I need a mirror. I'm gonna attempt to do this with this mirror. Let's see, I'm scared to poke my eye, but we're gonna try to press them together. Okay. Okay, so I probably, oops. So I probably should have put mascara on my lashes. It does feel like I maybe went too far in, but look at that, what do you guys think? You can see the little bit of separation. Let me see if I could try to squeeze them together. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do you see the difference? I mean, it is actually on there pretty good, it seems like. I do see a little bit of a shadow. I have worn lashes twice before in my life. I did do it for my brother's wedding. They put some really big ones and I had never worn lashes before and it was too much. I felt like I looked like a drag queen a little because it was too much for me. I didn't even wear makeup really at that time. But I did see a shadow and I am seeing that again now. So I don't know if it's me or what. But I definitely think I went too far in here. So I'm going to try to do the other one a little bit better. We're going to see what happens. But it is so far nice. It's not irritating me that much. Um, so I'm going to go in. And just so you know, there is a little bit of metal. So it will actually clamp on. So don't throw the packaging away. Make sure you keep that. So I'm going to put take the other one out. And I think I'm going to try to start from maybe the back end. Let's see. Okay, wait. No, I think I have to start from. Okay, I don't. Okay, this one was definitely harder to do. Let's see, actually, it went on pretty decent. Let's see if this front part will click in. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, okay, they're on, that wasn't so, so bad. Wow. 
Okay, so that is them. What do you guys think? You have to let me know what you think of these lashes. Oh my God, they're on. I have lashes on. I put them for the first time for myself. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Is this one all the way in? Yeah, I think so. Oh my God. Okay, so I do see a shadow. You guys know I wear contact lenses, so I was a little concerned with that. But it feels comfortable, so that is so cool. You guys have to let me know what you think. So that is in there, and I guess I didn't have to. Like this one, you can see like my lashes a little, I feel like, so I could have done that. I did tight line as well with this. This is the Tarte pencil. I did tight line prior and put liner on. So I did use this, and then I used these two on my bottom. The Essence, the Lash Primer, and the Lash Princess Mascara. So that is what I have on. I have nothing on the top, just the magnetic lashes now. So that wasn't bad. It took me like seven minutes to apply it, and that was with talking. So it's not bad at all, and they do feel like they would be comfortable. I do see a little bit of a shadow, but my eyes aren't watering or tearing, so that's awesome. So I will let you guys know in the comments. Um, just check those to see what I think of these, but I definitely want to know what you guys think. How did you think my first time applying them? Do you have any tips for your girl? I don't think I can use this. This scares me. Let's see. Okay, maybe it's not, oop, hold on, wait, right there, isn't it sticking? So I might have needed to put a little bit more in there, but this is going to have to do, I don't want to irritate my eyes, but it is really, really pretty. I do like them, I will wear them again in future eye looks. But definitely let me know what you guys think down below. I am going to leave all this in for the raw uncut so you guys can tell me what you think. But that is it. That is all done. So comment down below. Let me know what you think. Oh my God, I did lashes. <laughs> so, so far, I will say I do like the lashes. They're not too much. They're not too overwhelming. They look semi-natural. But very, very pretty. So I like them. We'll see how they wear. I'm going to wear them all day. I'm going to put the comments down below. So I probably won't be able to come back. I'm recording like three videos today and I'm already a little tired. I have one more to go. So I will put in the comments what I think and I'll update you guys. So you can definitely check there. But it does look like they're on really well. I'm going to try to wear them all day long. It is now, what is that? 322. So I'm going to see how long I can wear this and if they're comfortable or what have you. I don't know if I apply them perfectly. I'm scared to cut them because, but they are on there really, really good, except for this inner part right here. I kind of messed that one up. I don't think I put enough. But other than that, they are really, really nice. I do like them. And I think they're gonna be easy to take off. I'll let you guys know also in the comments how they were to take off. I'm gonna have to go look at some tutorials because I don't know how to really remove them. I think you just pull them off. I don't want to because I've seen once people pull them off, the liner comes off, you have to reapply it. I don't want to go through all that. My eyes are not acting up. Let's leave it. So sensitive eyes, so far approved. I'll let you guys know in the comments what I think. But definitely so far, I am loving them. I'm going to stop babbling. So much fun. Oh my God, I'm so glad I tried these. Thank you so much, Terrace Quarter. You guys go check her out. She is amazing. And she finally got Jackie Naturals to put on some lashes. So that is like... <laughs> that's big so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did with my lashes comment down below and if you have not already don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button and thumbs up this video for your girl trying out these lashes and i will see you all in the next one bye